Uh, I'd say my game is improving most based on my speed. Uh, I improved a lot from last year. Uh, my weight, I'm, I'm 205 now. I came in like 190, now I'm like 205. And also, I'm just I'm working, I'm, I'm working on everything. My hands, speed, getting out my brakes, agility, everything. So you're a self-made uh, receiving machine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, uh, just I'm working. Coach Barry's getting me better. He's developing me. Not just as a player, as a man too, as well. And I appreciate that as well. Coach Dawson, he's a great coach also. He's, they're both player coaches, love to play for him. Yeah. What's, so, what's unique about Coach Beard from the other wide receivers coach in the past? Just sets him apart. Um, coach Beard, he just, he just, you can keep, you can trust him. Like he, he'll, he'll tell you the good, he'll tell you the bad too. And he'll tell you about his failures. So it's like, he's trying to help you from like, like he's telling us what he did wrong so we can help ourselves. And I appreciate that a lot. And then you mentioned a player's coach. How important is that to have a coach that you have all your faith in? He has all the faith in you. Yeah, I feel like that's a, that's very important, you know, because if he can trust you to go make that play, he, you're gonna go make that play. And I feel like I'm still working on getting that trust right now, and I'm gonna get that trust. I'm happy. How have you changed since you since you've gotten here? How have you grown specifically? Uh, I guess I've grown maturity wise. Uh, I've came in. I had a little mature errors here and there, but I feel like my maturity has grown a lot since I've been here. And how about the whole receiving core? Oh, oh yeah, we, we're we're definitely getting better. We're coming together more. We're like it's like a brother, we're like a family, we're like a brother. We're working. We're always encur encouraging each other, and just getting helping each other get better. And you know, you mentioned like the, like maturity issues or anything like that. Like, was there a moment where you were like, hey, I can't be, I can't be doing this stuff anymore. I have to change, you know, change what I'm doing or something. Like, is there anything, any moment like that for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a moment. I just talked to myself. I'm like, say, we gotta get better. You're better than this. What we're doing, this is not what we came here to do. We got this goal in mind. Let's get your mind right and let's go get it. What and then we're forward to this coach scrimmage next week. Uh, just to compete, work. So, so we've been working on all spring, all summer, all, uh, yeah, all spring, defense and offense. Just What's working. it like to, to be able to have fans there? Uh, it's, it's fun. I'm gonna have my family there. Oh, that's that's gonna be a blessing, you know. And it's gonna be pretty nice to have, see some fans in the in the crowd. And we were just talking to Jakari. Just I mean, how have you seen him grow from last year to now? Oh uh, yeah, he's grown tremendously as well. You know, just accuracy, uh, speed. Reading coverages, stuff like that. He's he's, he's definitely grown. What, what is it? Coach, Coach Chris Paul mentioned he had a big play today. Can you walk us through it? It sounded like you caught a deep Oh yeah. Well, uh, you know, I just it was like a it was third and third and long, and uh, I knew where the sticks were, and I just knew I had to make a play, and I knew Jakar was gonna come to me, threw the ball to me, I saw the ball in the air, and I was a playmaker. I made to go. I'm gonna go make a play. Nothing else to it. Did you go up and catch it? Oh no, I just caught it like this and then made a move. Got this on. A lot of cheering. <laughs> a little bit. I ain't really. I, ain't, I can't really hear. I'm. I'm running. <laughs> Focus. Can you take us through the rehab process and like the injury and just mentally kind of where you are? Before? Can you take us through that? Yeah, I'm good now. I'm healthy now. Shoulders fine. Uh, mentally, uh, I'm good. I'm good mentally. You know, it just it just gave me a minute to sit down, think about what I have in front of me, the blessing I have in front of me, because this is a, a true blessing. Not many p people get to play college football. The level I'm playing. So just get to sit down and take the opportunities that I have, take it in as a blessing and just not take it for granted. And I mean, the other day with, you know, Cam getting his banner up here, you know, being one of the younger guys on the team, you know, freshman, you know, second year guys, does it inspire you guys to say, hey, like, I, that's something that's accomplishable, I guess. Yeah, well, I look at that every day and it gives me goosebumps. Like, that's great. Like, it's, that's an honor. I'm so proud of Cameron and Cameron deserves that too. He definitely deserves that. And uh, yeah, it's just, it just making me want to work harder. I want to see my name up there one day. How do you like this offensive scheme? Is it play to your strengths to make your job easier? Yeah, I love this offensive scheme. Coach Dawson is a great offensive coordinator. He's going to put right players in the right positions to make right, right make the right plays. I love this offense. What's the vibe and energy like compared from last year to this spring right now at practice? The vibe this year is great. We got a great vibe, great culture. Um, we're coming together as a team, and we're gonna. And I love the energy we're having right now. What stands out to you about some of the young guys like Ray Ray and uh, Robin? They're dogs. They're, they're coming in ready to work. They get their minds on right. They're not distracted. They're coming in ready to work, and I love that about them. I love it. So a lot of players left after the season. Uh, guys that didn't play a lot, you obviously didn't play. Why did you stay? Why, was it, why did you want to be? Why do you want to be here? I just have to trust the process. It's a part of the process. It's all that, you know, things may not go, it's not, things not going to go your way all the time. It's, you don't, you don't, I don't want to run from it. You just want to stick deep, dig deep down. So I trust Coach Chris Ball. Coach Chris Ball is a great head coach. I trust that man to death. And so I just trust the process. I'm just stick with the process. Anything on the uh, Emory Williams? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's doing wonderful. He's uh, young. He's growing. He's making, making some crazy plays out there as a freshman. 
just coming in new. Uh, he's doing good reading coverages. He's going to be a great player. And his TBD is the same old TBD. Same old TBD, always. He's wonderful, amazing as always. Before the injury, I mean, he's fine. He's still, I mean, I, I couldn't even tell he had an injury. But he's still doing amazing. So it sounds like you guys are in a pretty good place in the mm -hmm. quarterback room right yes, sir. now. Most definitely, yes, sir. And how's that helping the receivers? It's helping a lot because we're even building a better connection with them. You know, we just just off the field, stuff like that. Just build our connection better so on the field can be even better. Shari Smith mentioned you as a player that's been kind of uh, surprising or mm -hmm. performing really well. Mm -hmm. who's, been, who's been performing really well for you as far as the receiver? Man, really all the, all the guys, really. Uh, um, Bashard, he's definitely, he's definitely. I knew, I mean, it's nothing surprising though, because I know what these guys can do. So it's not really a surprise to me. All my guys, they all working like, we just, they all doing well. So salute to all my guys in the, in the receiver room. And then what are some of the defensive backs that really stood out to you, you know, going against them in practice? DB, uh, Chris Graves, he's getting better. He, he gets me better every day. Uh, another defensive back, Mark, well, he's a safety, but Marquise Williams, he's doing awesome as well. And uh, Daryl Porter, Daryl Porter. Isaiah, what's your height and weight right now? Where you've been measured? I'm 6'4 and I'm 205. And what were you last year? I was six three and a half, and I was like 195. Isaiah, we, we hear Coach Pierre talk all the time. Is there a message in particular that sticks with you that he said that, that resonates with you the most? It's just trust the process. It's just the process. Thanks, Dan.